Gypsy Rose Blanchard is celebrating her newfound freedom on Instagram. Just one day after her prison release, the 32-year-old shares her first selfie of freedom. Posing in jeans and a blue and white ombre sweatshirt in what appears to be a hotel room, Gypsy is all smiles while taking her first mirror selfie. Posting the photo to her 2.8 million followers, she captions it, first selfie of freedom. Gypsy then shares a photo of herself and half-sister Mia Blanchard posing in front of big gold balloons that read, welcome home, writing, sister love. The Louisiana native was officially released from prison December 28th after serving seven years for her role in the 2015 death of her mother, Claudine D.D. Blanchard. Gypsy was first arrested with her ex-boyfriend Nicholas Godijohn after her mother's remains were found in her Springfield, Missouri home with multiple stab wounds in June 2015. She was charged with second-degree murder and sentenced to 10 years in prison, but has been granted parole after serving 85% of her time. Nicholas, however, was given a life sentence for first-degree murder in 2018 without the possibility of parole. Even though it was her ex-boyfriend who committed the act, Gypsy testified that it was her idea during the trial. And for now, Gypsy seems to be wanting to stay in the public eye, with her Instagram bio reading, public figure, public speaker, author, advocating awareness about Munchausen syndrome by proxy. She's also set to tell her story in her own words on the new Lifetime series, The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, premiering January 5th. The docuseries will go into detail about the year she spent in the care of her mother. Everything that I have done within this facility was to get paroled. A Lifetime three-night documentary of ad. They're calling my name. Gypsy, help me. As far as we know, Gypsy Blanchard is the only documented case of a victim of Munchausen syndrome by proxy who has killed their perpetrator to get out. I will mention the abuse that I suffered at the hands of my mother. What Dee Dee did to Gypsy was one of the most egregious forms of parental abuse you can imagine. There was a lot of emotional and physical abuse, hospitals, surgeries. I started to feel like it was either her or me. I will share my story the way that it should be shared.